Hey guys, it's Kira. Today I'm going to attempt to sex my baby chicks. Um, they're about a week old and I can, from everything that I've read and watched online, I can definitely tell a difference. So I'm going to show you how I, um, how I did that and hopefully I'm right. I just wanted to show you the the little project I've been working on this weekend. I've had a terrible sinus infection, so I didn't bother filming any of this because, man, this weekend was rough and my kids had a fever and just all sorts of stuff. But my kids, uh, my youngest doesn't use a crib anymore. Uh, she never really did. So I was trying to think of some sort of project to turn this into so that I could reuse it. Speaking of, hey, my love. Anyways, so I um, I stapled, and my husband helped me, stapled um, hardware cloth on the inside of the rails here. I still have to do the back. And then um, I had lost the braces for the bottom part, so I reinforced it with some wood and set that in there. And I just have to um, predator-proof the bottom and the back. And by predator, I mean my cat, because he is entirely too interested in those chickens. And then when they're done, I'm gonna, um, when they've outgrown this and go outside into their coop, I'm hoping to set this out in the garage um, for broody hens in the future, possibly. So, yeah, I wanted to show you this. Oh, and I still have to make a lid, obviously. <laughs> what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to clean out their bedding, and then um, as I put them back in, going to attempt to sex them. These are the first chickens I have ever owned. Um, I've watched a few videos and I've read some no. books on how to sex them um, just by feathers. I'll hold them in just a second, baby. And everything that I've read and seen and watched on YouTube says, look at them, <laughs> says that the females will start to develop their wing and tail feathers before the males. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them all out and clean this out and then as I put them back I'm going to take a look at their I'm going to take a look at their wings and I'm going to take a look at their tail feathers and try to decide um, whether they're girls or boys. Also the boys on their wings all of their feathers will be the same length and on the girls there will be two rows. And I'm going to try to stop cat. I'm gonna try to identify that on my own, having never done that before. And, I can, and I'm just I'm looking down at them right now, and I can I can tell that some of them have much longer and more developed wings than the others, and that um, that makes me think that I have four. Just by looking at them, it looks like I have four roosters and six hens. But I'm gonna take them all out, clean out their um, their little brooder, and then I'm going to um, give them fresh bedding. And as I put them in one at a time, try and see if I can tell a difference by looking at their wings. And um, I'll mark with a permanent marker. Oh. She got the permanent marker. And I'm going to mark with a permanent marker on their leg um, which ones I think are roosters. Let's put these chicks in here real quick. Look here, little dinosaurs. You're coming with me. Fresh bedding, fresh food, fresh water. Now, let's attempt to sex these chickens. Alright, I'm gonna start with the ones I think are roosters. I think this one is a rooster because his wings, I think this one's a rooster because his wings are not as developed as some of the other ones that I have. Okay, so. Let's get him to open his wings up. 
all right? Come on, come on. And see how there's not a second layer of, oops. So, I know this is kind of far away, but see how there's not a second layer of feathers, right? See how there's not a second layer of feathers right here? Right here? It's just one layer of feathers and they're all the same length, right? So that's why I think he's a rooster. So I'm gonna I'm going to mark his little leg with a permanent marker, just right here. Because I think he's a rooster. So I marked him right here with a permanent marker. Catherine. And if I'm wrong. Then I get an extra pen, and if I'm right, then I'm right. Catherine, yeah, stop. Alright, so I'm gonna put him down. Kitty cat, stop. Leave them alone. Okay. Alright, so now I'm gonna do one that I think is a pen. See how the tail feathers here are already starting to develop? Kitty cat, leave them alone. But on this guy down here, he has no tail feathers. And then look at these huge wings and right here there's see how there's another little layer of feathers on top of the long ones here there's a first layer here and then there's a second layer here can you see that let me see if i can zoom in here we go so there's a first little layer and a second little layer so that's why i think she's a head so i'm not gonna mark her one I think is a hen because of the tail feathers and the wing feathers have two layers right here. Right. Here's another one that I think is a hen, tail feathers and two layers of wing feathers right here. Two layers of wing feathers right here. So, so far I have three hens So this one, I think, is another rooster, because if you'll look at his tush, his tail feathers are not developed yet, and if you look at his wings, hold on, he only has one layer of wing feathers here, right there, there's only one layer. I'm going to mark his leg. Alright, so the memory on my camera got all filled up in the middle of me trying to sex my chickens and show you how I was trying to do it. Um, if I'm doing it wrong, please comment below and tell me I think I have six hens and four roosters. Um, if you think I'm wrong, let me know. <laughs> because this is all brand new to me. and. Um, I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It, it's not a big deal. It's not... I mean, I'm... They're my chickens now, so... <laughs> it's just a fun thing that I thought that I would try and do. Anyways, um, I brought them downstairs. Um, I showed you that I was um, converting a little crib that my kids don't use anymore into a bigger brooder. I haven't finished that yet. But I went ahead and uh, made a lid for their little bin that they were in and brought them down just because I didn't like them being upstairs and they were downstairs all the time. I just, I like being able to hear them and just check in on them and stuff. Anyways, my cat figured out that we have chickens and it's hilarious. So I'm going to show you now. I don't know if he likes the heat lamp more or the chickens more because um, I just, I cut a hole because he's just been sitting here for an hour or more ever since I brought him down. He's just been doing this. And the reason why, yeah. <laughs> I need to clean it out, but I don't think he's gonna let me do that right now. What do you think, baby? I don't know if he likes the chickens more or the heat lamp more? I'm glad I made this little cover. What do you think, baby? 
What do you think? You like them? They're not yours. What do you think? 